Good day, RGV. Today on Valuable to Vida, uh, we are breaking down the latest news coming from the world of technology. And we're also giving you a family-friendly places uh, to visit in Harlingen. We're talking about interesting things that you maybe never knew about the English language. Plus, we've got so much more. So the show starts right now. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us today. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda, and I hope that you're ready because we're starting off today's show by giving you a sneak peek at some of the latest news on innovative technology hitting the market. So if you're the type of person who gets really excited, you know, whenever there's a new phone, a laptop, or camera release, then you're definitely going to appreciate these tech smart updates uh, courtesy of Nexstar. Here's what's happening in the tech world. A new version of the iPhone software is out. It brings a new Siri voice, new emojis, and a feature we could have used about six months ago. iOS 15.4 now lets you unlock an iPhone even if you're wearing a face mask. But considering Los Angeles recently lifted many mask mandates, this feature might not be as useful as it would have been a few months ago. Still, you can turn it on in settings under Face ID and Passcode. Face ID with mask uses the unique features around your eyes to authenticate you, but Apple says the full Face ID option is still more secure. The feature only seems to be available on the iPhone 12 and up. Volvo teaming up with Starbucks to install electric car charging stations at some of their locations. They'll start with 60 chargers installed across 15 Starbucks locations spanning from Seattle to Denver. The DC fast chargers will be placed about 100 miles apart from each other along the 1300 mile route. The chargers will be free or discounted to Volvo EV drivers, and since many of us get excited about new technology too, we thought it'd be cool to dissect some interesting facts about the history of it. Now, according to PremierPC.net, apparently there are over 6,000 new viruses that hit computers every single month. And the site says that over 90% of them come from our emails in the form of malware. And you know that Firefox logo? Well, the site also outlines that it's not really a fox. Believe it or not, it's supposed to be a red panda. And if you're a fan of Samsung, then you might be happy to know that the company's been around for a tad bit longer than Apple. About one month longer to be exact. And if you're a tech person, then you'll, you'll definitely appreciate this one. Okay, the site says that one petabyte is equivalent to one terabyte. So if you had 50 terabytes, uh, then you'd essentially be uh, able to store all the written works of all mankind from the very beginning and in all known languages. It's a lot of space. And this one's kind of scary. Okay, the site outlines that your Amazon Alexa is honestly always listening to your conversations. I mean, she's literally storing every single part of your dialogue ever in the cloud so that the company can improve your overall experience with the technology. And get this, the site also says that people usually tend to read about 10% slower than they normally would, uh, you know, when they're reading from a digital screen rather than from paper. And of course, technology has come a long way throughout the years. In fact, the first ever computer mouse was invented in 1964. It was actually rectangular in shape. And this is just interesting too. It was actually made from wood. Now the site says that with modern technology, of course, comes modern spam. But it does outline that for every approximate 12 million spam emails sent out in the world, there's about one person who actually replies to it. And it seems that if you're a video game player, you just might be able to prove yourself as the laparoscopic surgeon. Because the site says that gamers tend to make about 37% fewer errors than non-gamers. You know, when it comes to te technological completion rates and hand-eye coordination, which is very interesting. And apparently the team over at NASA have an internet speed of about 91 gigabytes for every single second. Actually, the site says that up until the year of 2010, carrier pigeons were used to fly messages from person to person and place to place because they were actually faster than the internet, believe it or not. And another, believe it or not, apparently the first ever computer virus that the world saw 
wasn't by accident. <laughs> the site outlines that it was actually developed by a person named Named Creeper and it was actually created in an effort of experimentation. So the goal was to determine how such a virus could spread from computer to computer and you know if the message um, Oh, and if the message Named decided to send, you know, as a test was, uh, it was, I'm the creeper, catch me if you can. That's what he decided to send in the virus. It's crazy. <laughs> now, of course, computers serve as a great resource for learning. I mean, we use them all the time to educate ourselves on different topics. But another great resource is books. And we're introducing you to yet another author that you need to know about, who's actually a prostate cancer survivor, and he's the founder of the Blue Cure Men's Health Nonprofit Organization. Plus, he serves as a nationwide men's health and just overall mental health advocate for everybody. Now, June actually marked National Men's Health Month, but the things that we learned two months ago are still those of which we can definitely take with us and implement into our lives today and pretty much every day. So, we went ahead and spoke with author, writer, and speaker Gabe Ganales about his tour across the state of Texas, as well as for details on how men can schedule their checkups, know their numbers, discuss screenings and uh, you know with the doctor and then of course learn about different lifestyle modifications that can help their health improve overall and even lower the risk of being affected by some of these leading illnesses and diseases. You know, he actually says that during COVID, millions of men in America missed their checkups and screenings, including many Hispanic men. So, he's here today to tell us about why that's not a good idea and of course to help us know how to take action when it comes to our health. My name is Gabe Canales and I'm promoting my new book, Unexpected Diagnosis, Prostate Cancer in the Wake Up Call to Live Healthier and Happier. I want you to live healthier and happier and I'm happy to be with you today. Yeah, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer at age 34. It was an unexpected diagnosis for years. I had gone without getting an annual checkup. Most men do. Most men don't get an annual checkup. And so when I got an annual checkup, I was um, informed of some high numbers across the board. You know, I was overweight. I had high cholesterol. Um, I, I just had not been taking care of myself. I'd been working hard and living life as a guy in his early 30s. And so um, when my doctor, I, when I had an annual checkup and my doctor told me that my testosterone levels were low, I didn't exactly know why because you know my libido was still high. I felt fine, but he said, let's go, you should go to a urologist and get that checked out. And I went to a urologist and he confirmed that I had slightly low testosterone. But when he confirmed that, they also ran what's called a PSA, a prostate specific antigen test. And that blood test um, showed elevated levels. And they asked me to go back and retest and I did. And I had a biopsy and I was informed that I had early stage prostate cancer, which is a blow because no one in my family has prostate cancer. And so I was determined to understand um, what caused it and what I could do, you know, because I didn't have symptoms. That's not why I was there in the first place. And so my um, doctor, I saw, I saw a lot of doctors and a fourth doctor in New York City said, look, you may not have a family history of prostate cancer, but he knew my family history. And he said, because you have a family history of heart disease, stroke and diabetes, it's all related. And he says, one thing that y'all all share in common is poor lifestyle habits. So, you know, he says that we do know that there are men that are diagnosed with prostate cancer, early stage prostate cancer, where it's lifestyle driven. And so immediately I thought about all the men in my family. Um, you know, we have a lot of men that have, that have had obesity and that have died prematurely, again, from lifestyle habits, from heart disease, stroke and diabetes. And so my doctor said that if you drastically change those habits, you can slow the progression of that prostate cancer. You can possibly reverse that. You heard him. His book is called Unexpected Diagnosis, Prostate Cancer and the Wake Up Call to Live Healthier and Happier. And he's aiming again just to provide lessons learned from his own health experiences and, you know, to inspire other men to take action as best they can, you know, to live 
physically and mentally healthy. So be sure to check out his work if you feel it can help you, a loved one, or of course someone else. And we'll give you some time to absorb all that info and maybe even find his book online because we're going to go ahead and take a quick commercial break. And we'll also give you a look at your local weather updates, but don't go anywhere because Valley Puerto Vida is going to be right back. And we'll have an all new What's Up RGV segment for you about family friendly places to visit in the city of Harlingen, plus a lot more exciting news when we return.